Now, my wife's an only child. She's from New York City. My wife, and I live in New York City now. I moved to New York City. I moved there because that city has so much energy. And then I learned the city gets its energy by sucking it out of the people that live there. <laughs> <laughs> then my friends visit me and they go, hey, what's your favorite thing to do in New York City? I go, uh, find parking. Really, that's the most exciting. <laughs> Sometimes finding a parking spot is so exciting. I pull out and look for another one to get that rush again. You know, I got to do this. It's like my catch and release. So my wife's from New York City and she's an only child. So early in our courtship, she was very interested in the logistics of a large family. And she would ask me, she'd go, all right, when your whole family gets together, who cooks? I go, hon, here's the situation. Uh, my parents are both Irish and Irish parents have a lot of kids. And then they pray that one of them marries an Italian. It's the Irish meal plan right there. Somebody knew. <laughs> that is true. That is true. My sister married an Italian guy. He's first generation. He cooks more for dinner every night than I saw K through six. That's unbelievable. <laughs> but Jerry, where were you in the 1970s? I was packaged for a whole decade. I could have used it. Could have used you. So, um, but my wife, uh, I thought she was Irish. I met my wife on the internet. How about that? Eight years ago, we met on the internet. And uh, I'm amazed we're still together because she returns everything she gets online. <laughs> I'm glad you liked that joke. So we, that's true, we met eight years ago. Now we didn't know what to tell our parents about the internet dating. It's a little weird for me. It's like a generational thing, you know? We told our parents uh, we met at the University of Phoenix. I just, uh, <laughs> but I thought she was Irish because her name is Molly. My wife's name is Molly. Sounds Irish, but she is not Irish. Uh, little curveball. There's been, I don't think we're going to have anyone in the room. My wife is Jewish. Do we have any Jewish friends here in Provo? <laughs> is Roseanne Barr in the room? Did she come back to Utah? She's the only Jewish person in Utah I can think of. Now, my neighbor, we didn't have any Jewish families where I grew up, too, so I didn't know anything about the Jewish culture. But I'm learning, and I find with any religion or culture, there's more similarities than there are differences. There's a Jewish holiday, Yom Kippur. I remember asking my wife, I go, "Hon, how do Jewish people celebrate Yom Kippur? And she says, we don't eat. I go, that's identical to a holiday in my culture, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> but then she educated me. It turns out that's a serious holiday. I, I, I apologize. I go, what's the most festive Jewish holiday? My wife said, Christmas. <laughs> that's what she goes, we get Chinese food and go to the movies. I go, hey, that's better than my Christmas. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.